Good evening, everybody. My name is Tristan Davis. Well, unless you didn't like the door, my name's Mike. Ah, uh, we're gonna be taking you around the Davis family farm today. So, follow me. I'll tell you a little history about it. If you got any questions, don't hesitate to ask. The field behind the plow turned to straight dark roads. Feel the trickle in your clothes. Blow the dust cakes from your nose. Hear the tractor steady roar. No, you can't stop now with a quarter section more or less to go. Good evening, everybody. My name is Tristan Davis. Well, unless you didn't like the door, my name's Mike. Ah, uh, we're going to be taking you around the Davis family farm today. So, follow me. I'll tell you a little history about it. If you got any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Right here we have what we call the tool shed. We can take a look at it, but we probably better not step in it because uh, I was informed if you step in it, it might come forward on you. So, poke your camera in there. See, see what you see. We got some old gardening tools. All kinds of stuff. All right. That, that leads us to over here. The chicken house. Hey, you're right. Well, what was the chicken house, right? We don't have chickens. I mean, most people nowadays don't have chickens. Well, I, I say that. Question. But uh, let's Hold take a peek a inside. J J Jimmy has a question. Hey. Yes, let's take some questions. Can I, can we, are we allowed to go in yes. the chicken house? Come on in the chicken What's house. What's in the chicken house? We'll have. We'll see. Uh, Is it chickens? No. Good, no I hate chickens. All right, come He's, on in, guys. Chickens too. <laughs> okay. Chicken house is just full of clutter. We got some power <laughs> wheels, some bikes. <laughs> Dang right. <laughs> You know, battery charger, little air compressor. Right here is where the chickens used to nest. We got rid of the chickens probably 20 years ago, so, you know, they cause a lot of ruckus. This, so. from the chicken house, takes us straight to the machine shed, which, if I know anything about why it's tractor sales on YouTube, this is the spot where everybody wants to see. Now, this ain't your quite antique, you know, power stuff, but it works, right? So, right here, 2012 model, New Holland, Forkmaster 75, two-wheel drive, beautiful machine, 75 horsepower, diesel, don't get any better than this, bought that thing brand new. They could right. be red <laughs> or green. If it ain't blue, it ain't for you. As you can notice... Seems like there should be something parked right here, right? Right. You, you'd think. You would think. But there's not. Uh-oh. We have a New Holland TL80. That's having some te technical difficulties. So, so it's invisible right now? It, it, no. no. It's, it's no, no longer no. visible. Oh, so okay. it's sitting up in the big town of Rosebud, Missouri, which is also the hometown of the Gascony County Thrashers Association. So go check them out. Second week in July, third week, I'm sorry, third week in July, why it's behind the camera helping me, thanks a lot. But, though we don't have the TL sitting here, we got all these beautiful implements. We got this Coon SR 110 speed rake. If you buy a rake, that's the rake you buy right there. That's a beautiful rake. Right here, Vermeer TD 200 tether. Beautiful machine. Gets the job done. And the to top of things off. Right here we got a 1998 model for Bear 504 Series L. So folks, if you haven't noticed, Vermeer's the way to go in hay equipment. Now right here we got a post hole there. Not sure what model it is. But it's there. It works. It's the and uh, looks like a dam yeah, user to me. It might be. But Dan uh, Hoosier, it's a uh, it's a beast. Dan it's Hoosier a digger. Beast. Here is a Helix water cart. Hey, tell them where you bought that. And just for everybody's information, this thing is for sale. This thing was used only one year to pick up feed and deliver it out here to put in a creep feeder. 
Now, from what I would tell you about it, it's still got to be in fairly decent shape for only being used one year. So, if you're, if anybody's interested in this, contact Wyatt, and Wyatt can put you in contact with me. So, that's right. So, now, right here, to replace this little Helix auger wagon, we got this little feed train bin. Bought this from the big company of MFA, which... I work for, and so does Jimmy yeah. over there. <laughs> Which, MFA Agri Services, Owensville, Missouri. Check over us out. Over a hundred years. Over a hundred years, guys. <laughs> right here, we got this kind of a makeshift sprayer. Got a little carry all. I think it's a hundred gallon. I don't know. Could be wrong. Right here. <laughs> Definitely not. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, maybe like 25, 40, 50? So, might be 50. <laughs> so right here, there's no 50s model Chevrolet pickup bed trailer. Grandpa's had this pretty much his whole life. Now, for all of you Wyatt Tractor Sales fans who really enjoy the brands that Wyatt just loves, Massey Ferguson. Right here we have a, I believe it's an eight foot, Massey Ferguson brush hog. This thing is a beast. I'll tell you a little bit more about it once we get to this little tractor up here. So with this little tractor here, this is a Ford 3600. And as you can see, it was purchased by Gercheski Tractor Company in Rosebud, Missouri. Do you think that phone number is still good? I doubt it. <laughs> now this tractor is a little beast. He's beautiful. Grandpa bought that tractor brand new. 1975. And to tell you how heavy that brush hog over there is, that Massey Ferguson, this little tractor here, which is a good 45 horse, could barely handle that brush hog. It would make that tractor stand straight up once you put that brush hog behind it. Mm -hmm. Now, we got the Vermeer TM700 Haymore. So, like I said before, guys, Vermeer's the way to go. There's nothing better than a Vermeer piece of hay equipment. Okay. So, Parrot, this, this farm was started and bought by my grandpa, Howard Davis. Now, Grandpa passed away in September of 2021, so we're here keeping his legacy going on this beautiful piece of ground that he loves so much. So, right here is probably one of my most favorite spots on this whole place, the barn. So let's go take a peek inside the barn. Come on, here, guys. The cats have chickens. Yeah. Ew. Hey. Oh, yeah, as you can see, we got some barn cats. <laughs> and, um, well, they got a lot of kittens, as you can see right there. It's pretty neat. Oh, wow. Because this barn is old. I see that. Older than me, I think. You think? Now, there's a lot of spots just in possibly. this barn just possibly, where it was put together by wooden dowels, other than nails. Yeah. So, you find one of them spots. Hey, I want to see. Right here. I would love right here. to show you that. Let me shine a light on this for you here. Yeah. That's, 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 that's Somewhere. It's right there. Oh, there. I, I am, I'm sorry, guys. I can't Jeez, see. Don't even know what a wooden dowel is. Do you okay. Guys? So. Hi, look. Hi, look. We'll take you to the back of the barn because this is probably there. one of the most interesting rooms in the whole place. Back here, we call this the Echo Room. There's a reason behind that. Is there? As you look here, Echo! Echo! That's why it's called the Echo Room. So, that leads us back here to the mangers. Nice little manger, you know, you get a cow pinned up in here, you have a nice place to eat. Now, 
If you feel it like to take a look up yes. in the loft, I would not recommend walking on the oh. wood in the loft because there's a lot of holes that you can possibly fall through, but that's the risk you have to take. Yeah, that's right. And this guy would take. So Now, if there's one thing I know about Wyatt's tractor sales, is that they like to preserve history. Absolutely. And by keeping this barn alive and keeping it kept up the way we do, this is preserving a part of history that, well, we're kind of losing. So, I guess it's now time we step out of the barn and go to our next destination. Yay. All right, so right now, we're walking in one of our main pastures. Well, this is our main pasture right here. As you can see, the grass is coming up pretty nice. So, yeah, because you guys get rain. We don't get no rain. That's right, we just got a nice little shower just coming out of here. If you look over yonder there, there's our newest bull, Red Angus. Bought that in the big town of Mexico, Missouri. A nice bull, young. Like I said, if I don't know if you can see it, but there's that white and red spotted cow kind of facing toward us, right beside that black cow there. Well, right hold there. on, I gotta get steady so they can see it. There we go. Right there, and uh, well, that cow was born premature, and it was born. I don't know. I think it was born like three or four months early. Wow. So it was born very, very little. And that cow, my grandpa took and bottle fed it. And he, he worked to get it up. And actually, by the time we thought we were gonna have to sell her, he actually got it to grow into where it caught up with the next group of cows right behind it. So now it's one of our heifers, and she's going to be throwing a calf pretty soon, probably, hopefully. If you look down there, that's actually one of my cows right there walking down. She just had a calf Sunday. So she's taking the calf for a walk. Calf, real sprite little thing running around. That cow I call Holly. Now, as you can see, we don't have a specific breed that we raise here. We got any and every color you can think of. I see that. But, what's so fun about having one specific color? You got to have a mix. Yep. Got some red, some white. Dude, we might even have a blue one somewhere around here. Mountain Mare's got some know. blue spots on her. That's right. One. Down here, this little one's probably the cutest calf I'd probably ever seen. What calf? The thing that probably reminds you of a teddy bear when you get real close to looking at him. <laughs> that little black spotted one that's running right now. Real fluffy. I mean, he's just cute. That's his mama right there. Uh-oh. <gasps> Well, that's they always like good. You, they don't like you being around them, so yeah, but that makes a cow a good mama. Right there, that red one furthest away from us, that's another one of my cows. That thing is a pure bud blood beefalo. Beefalo. <laughs> Would you like to explain to our viewers what a beefalo is? A beefalo is a cow and a buffalo crossed together. And that, that's exactly what makes up a beefalo. Oh. So what, why, why is that good? I, it, it's really not. There's no difference from a beefalo to a hang Got her when she was nothing but a baby. And raised her up. Now that black baldy thing's right there across the fence from us. That's another one of our bulls. Nice bull. He's still a little too young to be breeding anything. He'll be ready to breed about the time 
it starts about July. Well, June or July will turn the bull out. Right there, that black one, that's another one of my cows. That come from the great Andrew Shear. <laughs> Shear Cattle Farm, Shear Angus Farms, I'm sorry, in New Haven, Missouri. And she's got a little black baldy calf on her that's probably running around somewhere. Well, guys, now we're down here at the Big Burbish River. Beautiful sight, ain't it? Gotta love it. So, I think this is going to conclude the tour. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I, I mean, if you didn't, well, then yeah. I guess you just need to go somewhere else. I mean, because you can't get quality entertainment like this anywhere else, right? Remember, your name's Mike if they didn't like it. And again, remember, if you didn't like this tour, my name's Mike. So, when you start talking to people, Mike. tell them. Mike told you. If not, Tristan Davis. So, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Wyatt's Tractor Sales right here on the big YouTube. And don't forget to ring that little bell to get notifications every time Wyatt posts a video. Because I could possibly be in the video. You got to keep up to date and watch these videos because... If you don't, how are you going to get to see me? I mean, it's just that's just how it is, guys. I'm a busy man. So, and also, if if you if you want to, you know, start if you're looking into buying tractors or even if you're thinking about starting a business like Wyatt, don't forget to visit www dot wise tractor sales dot com that's got all the equipment you can think of sitting right there on that website and last but not least guys don't forget to come by mfa in owensville come visit me get an autograph and jimmy and me so <laughs> without further ado i think that wraps it up again don't forget to check out Wise Tractor Sales right here on YouTube. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day, wonderful evening, and enjoy the summer.